Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. It is Friday, January the 11th, 2019. Let's talk boxing. A fight that I consider to be a dream fight looks like it's actually happening. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me just say, all of us have certain fights that we hope to see sometime down the road, right? For me, personally, one of the best possible fights that could be made in the entire sport of boxing looks like it's about to happen. Kirill Relic versus Regis Pobre, right? Uh, Pogre. Let me just say this. Folks, this is the kind of fight that's going to stop traffic. I'm just telling you the way I see it, this fight is going to be a fight of the year candidate. You have one guy with a 70% KO ratio going up against another guy with an 83% KO ratio. But the kicker here is that the guys are remarkably similar, right? Understand, in another life, in my opinion, these guys were brothers from different mothers. One guy is orthodox. The other guy is a southpaw. Both, and this is very important to both men, both men want to own the pocket. Both are short punchers. They don't need a windup to inflict big damage. You see punches that look like arm punches until you see the reaction of the guy they're hitting. Both guys are hellacious, and I mean hellacious body punchers. I would say these guys, both individually, are among the best body punchers in the entire sport of boxing. Let me also say too, both men are fearless. They're power punchers, they also throw combinations. If they get on a roll and they feel comfortable, they will get even deeper in the pocket. They'll stay there and they'll throw power shot after power shot. Now because both guys are destroyers, because they're accustomed to being the heavier handed power puncher in the ring, neither guy, in my opinion, is defensively blessed. You'll notice both guys will stand upright and will throw punches and will present themselves as if there is no possibility that the guy they're fighting can throw a good counter up top. In other words, these guys get going, then they start throwing body punches. Folks, their hands are down like my hands are down. Right? You know, the idea that the other guy might actually be setting a trap to hit these guys, like Juan Manuel Marquez hit Manny Pacquiao in that fourth fight, just hasn't dawned on either fighter. Now, I'll just be blunt here. I have no idea who wins this fight. Let me get even more blunt. If these guys fought more than once, there is a chance that one guy wins the first fight, the next guy wins the second fight. Because I get the feeling that there is no way on God's green earth that this fight goes the distance. If you see either guy hurt and backing away from the pocket, I believe it's over for that guy. 
you have two sharks the minute one of them bleeds the other one is going to go in for the kill the bet I'm recommending here in this relic versus pogre fight is that you take both guys by stoppage right just take both guys by stoppage if you want to be more careful than that take the underdog who by definition should be getting better than even money odds take the underdog and hedge with the other guy by KO right neither guy is gonna cover up folks both of these guys are hunters an argument can be made that both of these guys are unbeaten I know Carol has two losses I would say both of those losses are dubious when he fought Rancis Bartholomew the second time he left no doubt right the other loss was to Ricky Burns let's just say Ricky Burns was covering up and was defensive during that fight in a way that Pogre is not gonna be here right so I consider these guys to both be alpha it hasn't crossed their minds that they might actually face a heavier punching more deep in the pocket determined opponent than themselves right I'm just telling you the minute a guy gets hurt in this fight especially if he's hurt with let's say more than a minute left in the round this fight is going to be over it's hard for me to envision two young lions more convinced in their dominance than these two guys so this dust up is taking place at 140 pounds understand since Terence Crawford left the division a full-blown civil war has broken out I'm just telling you for those of you looking for high action high octane fights it simply does not in my opinion get better than this and the fact that titles at 140 hang in the balance makes it that much better keep an eye out for this fight I give it my strongest recommendation look at the body punches look at how both guys don't want to get in the pocket to wrestle you neither is a wrestler they want to get in the pocket so they can throw body shots folks this is astonishing stuff relic versus pogre must watch I'm expecting a stoppage rather than take a side here I'm betting distance and I want all 12 rounds that's the other part of this because it's a title fight it's a 12 round fight <laughs> folks I'm not sure this would go the distance if it were a 10 round fight this is a 12 round fight I'm expecting a great one that's how I see it let me hear from you if you're taking a side tell us which side and tell us why in the comment section of this video thanks for stopping by